Welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I want to talk about the importance of steel shop drawings in the construction process. The construction process for a new structure will typically start with a structural engineer record being retained by an owner and an architect. In a new construction project, the owner and the architect will work together with the structural engineer of record being involved. They'll determine what the building's gonna look like, what it's gonna feel like, what it's gonna be used for, all those things. The structural engineer will essentially make sure that everything regarding the vision of the architect can be made. So essentially, can we have that size of beam? Can we put a column here? Can we make these spans, etc.? Where's our bracing gonna go? Those are all questions that are relevant to the communications between the architect and the structural engineer. The structural engineer will put together a drawing package which will outline all those elements. So the size of beams, the size of columns, the size of bracing, the size of joists, size of deck, all that stuff will all be outlined in the contract drawings presented by the structural engineer of record. Now one thing that's not outlined is how all those things are connected. So it's things like how a beam is connected to the column, all those things are not outlined in the structural engineer's drawings. What they'll typically do is they'll outline forces required for these connections. So connections are actually the joints between different elements of a structure allowing them to perform. So the engineer of record will supply the forces and determine the type of connections they need to be. Most of the time where I am, there's a lot of bearing connections, a lot of moment connections, slip critical connections. We don't have a lot of seismic or, or anything like that. So if you'd like to see a full video on connections design, which is something I've done lots of, please leave it down below and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to make a video on that if there's enough interest. So the connections aren't designed by the structural engineer of record, so who does those? Someone has to take accountability to make all the joints work in the structure. So essentially how it works is once the drawings by the structural engineer of record are complete, they get sent out for tender, and then a fabricator gets awarded the project. The hierarchy can vary who's, who's in charge, whether it's the director, the fabricator, or, or another kind of arrangement based on where you are. Around here, uh, the fabricator typically takes the lead, and they're the ones responsible for putting together all the pieces to make the project happen. They're the ones responsible for taking the structural steel drawings and fabricating them. So cutting, welding, bolting, all that stuff is done by the fabricator in the shop. And in the field, it's being handled by an erector. Here in my area of Canada, the fabricator typically looks after making sure that all the connections are designed. So that will typically mean either having an in-house connections engineer or retaining a connections engineer. That connections engineer will be in charge of designing the connections based on the structural engineer records, forces, and the type of connections that they've required. They'll be in charge of making sure that all the edge distances are being followed, that the forces can be resisted, and that everything will fit. Then that'll get passed on to a detailer. The detailer's job is to take the connections as well as the, the overall dimension. So that might involve some field measurement or coordination with the structural engineer in terms of making sure that everything will fit. And then they'll put that together and essentially have a full drawing package. And these drawing packages could be very, very large, which will detail every single piece of the structure down to every weld size, every bolt, every anchor bolt, every part of the steel structure will be on these drawings. Now these will get sent out to the shop where they'll get cut, welded, all that stuff, and they'll, they'll be put on tracks and sent out to the field. In the field, the, that's when the importance of shop drawings really shines. An erector, the erector is in charge of putting up the steel. So essentially it comes in large trucks and then the erector takes all these steel pieces and puts them up one by one, uh, typically in line with the erection plan that has been done by the detailer. If you guys want a full explanation of the detailing process, leave it down below, I'll make a video on that. The erector puts up the steel structure and that's really where it's important that the shop drawings were 100% accurate because you don't want any rework in the field. Rework in the field could be as much as 10 times more expensive to do than in the shop. So welding's a lot more expensive because think about it, you got a guy thousands or hundreds of feet in the air trying to weld a, a member that could have been welded on the ground. So it's a lot easier to do things in the shop than it is in the field. So that's why in terms of getting the field measurements right, in terms of making sure that the whole drawing package is complete, that's the importance of shop drawings. It's to avoid rework. So the number one priority of shop drawings is to make sure that the connections engineer did the life safety portion of it, making sure that all the connections are safe. And number two is for ease of erection. You wanna make sure that your structure can go up and you won't have any rework because rework means more cost and it's tremendous the amount of cost that good shop drawings can save. If you've been on a new build project where you've seen errors of shop drawings, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, that's when I really want you to listen to this. Take the time to take the extra steps 
and go through the shop drawings properly. If you're a new grad and you've been tasked to go over shop drawings, take as long as you can to make sure that they are perfect. Ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask what a member is. Why is something done this way? What is the shear tab? Why is, why is this uh, welded connection done this way? What's with this double angle connection? Why is it bolted and welded? And then those are the questions you should ask to understand when you're doing the review as a new grad or someone who's in that role. I typically don't like new grads to be doing full connection design because you need that a certain level of experience to be doing connections uh, and a certain level of training. I don't think that anyone out of school has the right skills to be jumping right into connections design because it's very specialized. Again, I hope you've enjoyed the video. As always, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.